What's up guys, this is Andre and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do print on demand with Printify and how to import your product in your Shopify store. Okay, it's going to be very easy, very efficient and we're going to go straight to the point. I'm going to use one of my store um, that I also have been shown on um, a video uh, with Etsy. Uh, it's a video that talk about the 5000 per month uh, products that you can do. Same store but on Shopify. Um, we're gonna use a niche that are the mousepad. I'm gonna show you the how to install the Printify app on your Shopify store, how to kind of scroll, see the different type of products, and how to literally uh, select a product, do the whole phasing of like uh, doing the design, resizing it, putting in the better quality, and then just import it into your Shopify store. So we're gonna go straight up into it. So this is the Shopify store that you have it here. Um, you have the different sales channel. The first thing that you guys need to do is to go on the App Store and tap Printify. Printify, that it's right there. I'm gonna go look for it. And you have it right there. I'm not gonna show you how to download it because I already download it. You're gonna do this and you're gonna click here, download. It's gonna ask you a couple of questions to agree to uh, the different setting and now you're gonna have it directly right there as an app okay so you can open the store show uh, the printify app straight up from your shopify store or you can do like me i rather do it like that on the side um so as you can see you have different type of products uh as i talk in a in another video you have a lot of product for me printify is one of the best print on demand platform in terms of also different uh, products and catalogs. We even have shoes to uh, customize, sportswear, tank tops, um, accessories, beauty. Recently, they did like the new beauty and like the the, the coffee thing, with, which I talk in another video. It's it's very interesting. Printify has been like very on point on like the print on the main game. They've been for me the the most prolific platform with Printful, but Printful has less uh, type of uh, products. Um, but you see you have home and living, Canva, ornament, postcard, everything, even rugs, seasonal decoration. This is very important, guys. If you have like a store, for example, I'm gonna do a video on how to do a store, for example, selling t-shirts for seasonal products, for seasonal events like Christmas, Halloween, different type of events that's happening during the year that you can sell t-shirts that are, and, and with the SEO, that is gonna be very easy to sell. But here today, we're gonna use the mousepad store that I have. And so I'm going to do the customization of a design that I already pull out. You can find it everywhere. This design, I found it on a, on a free website so I can use it. Um, so here we're going to do very easy. You have your different products here. So let's see, for example, the dashboard. This is the cost that I use uh, since I started the store. Not that much. Uh, I'm not going to lie. This is not a store that I pay a lot of attention. It's more a try store that, to see how SEO is reacted. But here, you, for example, it's connected to my um, Printify, uh, to my Etsy, sorry, store. And here you have all the different order that I used to have. So as you can see, a bunch of orders. Here, we're not there to <laughs> not show you the real result. You, you see the platform is literally right there. So you can see everything. Um, the last one was in June. Sometimes I get random order, I just fulfill them. Uh, but I'm not, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, for me, it's a very, it's, it's a store that I don't really pay attention. I do the regular SEO, but the mousepad niche is very, very competitive, especially in the keywords that I have. And so it's a store that I created a year ago and I kind of let it go. I know it's not my type of things, but, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a guy on it because like it's, I have other <laughs> eggs to fry, let's say like that, but. Um, if you want to add a product, okay, in the different category, so we're going to go right there in the mousepad because this is what um, we care about. You can select the different type of provider if you're, for example, in Europe and you want to do the only uh, deliver very fast because if you deliver from the US to Europe, you're going to have to pay taxes, VAT, the shipping is going to be longer. But here it's easier in the US, okay? And we're going to take, for example, generic brand. That's the brand that I use. You see they have a, a reviews of uh, 9.2, which is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. You have the different size, the different colors that you can do. You have the key features of the products. Okay. And we're going to start right there. You have the provider info. What do they do? Different sizing with the price. 
and we're gonna click on start designing okay so here we have a basic size that I'm gonna pull out usually when I'm when I'm putting a design on this website I'm gonna choose all the different sizes okay and I'm gonna upload a design so you have different type of things you can do your custom ones right there your library the different graphics that you have here different templates you even can use AI generator to uh, pull out design from your library and just put them straight up but here we're gonna use this one okay it's a design that I find online I'm gonna use Photoshop for it um, all designs need to have 300 dpa okay so here we're gonna do the size it's around we're gonna put it as the size right there 18 by 12 inches and we're gonna put the resolution 300 dpi okay it's gonna do like that and then we gonna put it as a save okay so I'm gonna save the image it's right there and I'm gonna upload it straight up from here okay and we're gonna see how it's gonna be okay the time that we don't load the image we have it right there so usually what I like to do you see right there it's in high resolution um, what we want in these pictures it's actually to you see you have different type of ways so we clearly the design here is not made for this size so we're gonna kind of uh, extend it or push it so it can look good so we're gonna click here you see then after you can move it you can do whatever you want or you can do it like that okay and then you have a preview of what it's gonna look like on the mouse pad okay that's a good decent design and we're gonna do it right there so make a specific design it's gonna stay like that you have to very um, put this thing because it's important because if not it's not gonna adapt okay this one we're gonna change it right there we're gonna put it for this design and this one we're gonna do it right there didn't change okay perfect so um, we're gonna keep it like that and we're gonna go next save the product you have a preview that's gonna be right there the good part of, of Printify is that they also offer you different type of mockups as you can see right there so for example, what matters to me is actually not the back. It's going to be this one, this one. So the mockup, so the, the customers can actually identify himself with the product. And this one, I like it too, because um, we can see the quality of the product of what it will look like. That's going to be the main image that is going to be on our store. You can change it after, guys. We're going to put the title. So it's going to be, let's say it's a retro car my collection is going to be gaming mouse pad. Oh, my bad. I forgot to tell you about the different type of collection and product that I have here. So here I have the different collections. Uh, and me, it's going to be, I'm going to put it here in the gaming mouse pad. Okay. So what we want to do, it's actually uh, for the SEO. Usually when you have a, um, a keyword, so me, my collection is gaming mouse pad. I'm gonna try to include these keywords in the title of each product so it can help and boost the SEO. Here we have a basic description. You guys can do it, put your own on ChatGPT and chat GPT and kind of mix it and, and, and put a, a very good copyright cop, uh, copywriting so it, it sells easier. I would still keep this one. So the size may vary. You can take it off. Multifunctional anti slapping available in three sizes. People already know because we're going to see material through thick neoprene. Uh, we're going to keep it like that. I suggest you guys to actually change the description. Keep the basic. Okay. Here you have the different tags. Okay. They automatically put tags uh, that are going to be put in your store. Seasonal picks, TikToks, all of that. I'm not a big fan of it, uh, especially for SEO. Those are not things. Back to school, okay, fall bestseller. It's not a fall product. Mousepad, accessory desk, back to school, maybe. Seasonal picks, neither. Home and living, yes. The shipping here, okay. So, um, as usually, it's going to be put like as a free shipping for our store. And then you have the price, okay. So, this is the retail price, and this is what it's going to cost you right there product cost and then buy your shipping cost okay so you guys want way more profit so you guys are gonna put let's say for example this is a 12 by nine. we're gonna try to put it uh, right there 99 
This one is gonna be, let's say, this 99, and the bigger one is gonna be, let's say, 39.99. This is just random prices that I put. For me personally, if you do, if you scale a lot, I usually like to do two to three times the profit here because the the $15 profit, you guys, you have to also consider the taxes that you guys are gonna pay, a bunch of things that can happen, marketing costs. And making a $5 profit out of one product, it's very low. And so me, I'm a guy that I like to sell high um, high margin products. Let's say it costs me 30 to 40, I resell it 150 to 200. And I know it's crazy, but it's working, okay? And especially in bunch of my store, it's the value that you perceive and the quality of our, all the products that I have in my stores are really good. Actually, this one, the mouse pad, I almost never had a complaint one time they messed up in the printing process but that's it like this 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 uh, provider for example i tried it on etsy i had super great reviews um you can see on the video that i that i show you on on this product on etsy i had excellent five star reviews so the product is good quality they ship it fast so yeah if if you guys have like a good design way to make your website and a good like branding you can make it more expensive you have brands that are selling mousepad for a hundred dollars so why not you too okay so only show the variant in stock i like to put all the time on show show all the time no matter what even if it's sold out because you can always figure it out a new print and demand partners sometimes if it's on if it's sold out on printify you can find it on guten or on printful so you have to have availability on your website all the time, no matter what, okay? We're gonna put the mockups, and then you're gonna choose the Shopify collections, which for us is gonna be the gaming mousepad. And I'm gonna hit, I'm just checking everything is good, the price, you see the profit margins right there, shipping, it's gonna be standard. Okay, and then we're gonna go publish, okay? Now we have it right there, the time it's, we're gonna wait a little bit until it's gonna get published. But yeah, guys, um, Printify is for me one of my favorite uh, print-on-demand partners, as I said, in the time we're gonna wait until it's gonna get published. You can see that it has a lot of catalogs, a lot of products that you can use. Recently, they use the beauty industry. Uh, you have the coffee one too, seasonal here. You can make a business out of everything right there. Um, as a little advice, the most, the, 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 the fast fashion is a big uh, industry right now. So people are willing actually to pay less for a t-shirt and, and, and buy more. Instead of buying a hundred dollar shirt, you can buy a $20 shirt. They actually don't care about the quality, especially in the U S a lot of people, they just, uh, they're used to not wear like goodies. If you see, if you go to like a sport event, a lot of people are wearing like the, shirts about their team that are not even good quality a great typical shirt with like a design you guys can do a lot of things and and printify i think it's like one of the main print on demand partners on the market their their customer service can lack sometimes but overall it's good they refund if they really know that the product is not cool not, not good quality if it came broken you guys don't have to worry about it they'll fix it okay but that's how it is, guys. So we're gonna see if the product has been put right there. Okay, so this was the collection that we put the product. Okay. We're gonna have to wait a little bit because it's still not, it hasn't still, it's uploading the images. Let me refresh the page right now. Uploading images. We're gonna wait. Sometimes it takes time, guys. Uh, depending on the type of product, I know they're gonna put a lot of mockups, so we're gonna wait. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, I'm gonna show you a bunch of things. For example, this one is um, the description that I've been putting on the gaming mousepad. It's been completely SEO focused and oriented. I'm not. It's it's literally everything right there. It's about SEO okay so it's been optimized for SEO this is for me like one of the best the best way to rank um, I struggle to rank in this category because I didn't put no efforts actually on the website I didn't do that much backlinks the designs are very very basic things 
But I know it's working. It's a website that can make you guys a lot of money. You just need to find a good target, create a good brand out of it. Me, I know I have to put someone on it just to do the whole like social media stuff. I have actually, um, I think the name of the competitors, it's called Alt Customs or something. They're selling custom mousepad, gaming mousepad, and they're making, they're viral on TikTok. So you guys can use it. You guys can use this niche. I'm very open about the different website that I use and that have been successful and not very successful for me. So yeah, we're going to see, let's see if this time it's been uploaded. There we go. You can see that it's been published. We're going to go straight up here. It was gaming mousepad, right? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, there we go. We have it right there. Cause it's going to be best sun. Okay. So we have it right there, okay? So the description has been um, copy paste. You see the different tags here, the different size, the prices. Now you can choose also the different type of mockups. People will literally see everything, okay? You have to change right there the page title and the meta description, guys. I suggest you to change it. I'm gonna use this thing, for example. I'm gonna copy paste from this one. This is a good meta description. We're gonna copy paste. Okay, just change the name right there. Looking for a new game is a pad. And boom, we're gonna put the name right there. Okay. And we're gonna save it. I'm not, uh, this is like your part if you wanna do, uh, me personally, I'm gonna change the description because it's not SEO oriented and all my description need to be all SEO oriented for them to rank. So that's it, guys. You have it, the, tut the tutorial from uh, putting a design on Printify, putting it on a product, and then importing the product, and it's actually ready to sell. If I can show you right there, we have the preview of the product literally right there. See, add to card, different images. This is me that I did the material, the shipping things on the website, and yeah. You have it right there, guys. So um, that's it. If you have any questions, any comment on the video, don't hesitate, okay? You can contact me. Put your questions under the video. You can send me a DM also on my social media pages. And that's it. I'm going to do another video also on the print on demand pretty soon to show you another type of business that you guys can do that can bring money. Everything that I do is oriented to SEO. I'm not a drop shipping guy that I like to do like viral products. I know drop shipping is a way to start, but it's not a successful way to really make money long term. Everybody started as a drop shipping. I have clients that are started as drop shipping that I have have real brand, have like warehouses. It's a good way to start, but you now nowadays with like uh tools like that, like print on demand, you have different way to start a business. For me, print on demand is one of the number one way to start a business. They expanded it so many categories like the, the skincare, the coffee, you can do everything okay on print on demand. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you until next time. See you guys.